FDA is absolutely committed to partner with Interpol in Pangaea. We have been partners for years helping Interpol uh, with this operation, and it's been a fantastic partnership. We're completely committed to doing that, to maintaining that partnership, and working with our member countries um, in compiling all the data, because everybody works so hard in trying to shut down these illicit pharmacies and the online uh, places where people can order because it's so dangerous. Nobody knows really what they're ordering. It could be anything and they don't know where it's sourced from. And so FDA, in cooperation with Interpol, works hard to uh, stop these online pharmacies because there's such a risk to the patient and the consumer, especially in the United States. Uh, we want to make sure that all of the medications that come into the U.S. are FDA approved products. and with these illegal and illicit pharmacies, there's no guarantee. And we don't want our uh, drug supply to be contaminated by these illegal products that are coming in that people don't know what they're ordering from. These illegal online pharmacies, they are far more concerned and their focus is on the almighty profits that they make. That's what they care about. They don't care about the consumer or the patients. That's not their goal to take care of the patients. They want the money from the medications that they're selling. Uh, one of the interesting things is so many consumers think that the online Canadian pharmacies are actually in Canada, when in fact they're not. Most of them are sourced from other countries. The products that they provide are not from Canada, um, and so they need to be far more careful about what they're ordering. There are legitimate online pharmacies, but they need to research those and make sure that they're ordering from the correct ones. Um, I think it's important to remember that the medications that they order, especially ones that are, that are touted as being from Canada, they need to know where those medications are coming from, and they don't. There's no way to know that. And so the, the medications that they're getting could be from anywhere. They could contain anything. A lot of the medications that come in from online pharmacies, they could either have too little or too much of the active ingredients of the medications. Some of the medications don't even have any of the correct ingredients in them that are even labeled on the on the product, and so they don't know what they're getting. Um, it's, it's roulette when they get the medications, and it could either help them, it could hurt them, and ultimately it could potentially cause death. And we want to make sure that we are not having that happen. We want to take that risk away from the patients and protect them, because that's really our goal, especially at FDA and FDA Office of Criminal Investigation. One of the other benefits of FDA that we have, especially partnering with Interpol, is we have a criminal unit um, that's the Cybercrime Investigative Unit. And we're able to go and work with uh, taking down these illegal websites and shutting them down so that they take that with, we take that risk away from the patients so that they can no longer have access to these illegal pharmacies that they don't even know are illegitimate. And so that's one of the main goals is to make sure and protect them. One of the main focuses this year with Pangea is to take care and, and try to stop the illicit sales of opioids, including fentanyl. Um, that is becoming such a huge problem, especially in the United States. We've seen prescription medications coming into the U.S. that look like oxycodone and legitimate prescription medications when in fact they contain fentanyl, which is not what they should have in them. And it can cause harm to the patient. It can potentially cause death. And we want to make sure and stop that. And so with Pangea this year, having that be a, fo a focus to stop the fentanyl coming into the different countries, including the United States, and have FDA be a partner and have our CCIU unit stop the websites that are selling these illegal medications is such a benefit. It's a huge um, bonus to everybody and it's a critical partnership that I think um, we are absolutely committed to continue and we will be continuing to participate in Pangea for years to come. We're excited about that.